Rising. Start Rising? Andre Rising needs to do Falcons it. Falcons or Chiefs Rising? Chiefs Rising. Packers Rising? All right. I remember Steve Smith <laughs> doing it in the playoffs against the Bears. Maybe there was an homage to the Bears. Who knows? Rising, we love you. Third quarter. 10 nothing now, which feels like 30 to nothing. It's the third and 13. David Montgomery loses it. It is scooped up for the scoop and score. 17-0 lead, completely insurmountable. That's Desmond King. Never had a practice with the Titans. Just got there from the trade deadline and returns one for a fumble recovery for a score. Never had a practice. Had a touchdown. Fourth quarter. The garbage yard starts to pile up, but look at this. Tannehill, Tannehill, John New Smith, walk in. He's bust the screen again. This is an absolute blowout in which the Bears threw up some garbage yards at the end of the game and the Titans rolled. But Ryan Tannehill was asked about A.J. Brown and how good he is. Take it away, Tan Man. You know, he made a couple big plays for us, no doubt about it. Um, they're making it tough up front. They, we knew coming in that they had a really good front, and they, they did a good job for the whole game. So uh, we knew we had to put, make some plays outside. We missed on some, some close opportunities and just didn't finish on enough plays. But, you know, A.J. was huge in making those plays downfield for us. AJ was huge, and so was their defense, shutting out Chicago mm. for the first three quarters. A lot of questions about that defense. So what stood out to you, Shriggs, most in this game? The Titans getting a bounce-back winner. The Bears continuing to struggle on offense. I'm going to quote our colleague Chris Rose. I was watching the, sh- the wrap-up show oh, yeah, last sure. night. He says, if you were a fan of offense, this was not the game for you. Mm. Mm-hmm. And I think the NFL is going into an offensive era where you need to score points. You need to have dynamic play. Neither of these teams did anything to tell me that they're Super Bowl contenders yesterday. But the Titans found a way to win. And I think at this point in the season, stacking wins is so important. So to me, my takeaway, Bears offense was horrendous. Titans offense, not good. But what it mattered most, the Titans defense, which has been just just sliced up all season long. No Clowney. Vic Beasley's gone. No Jeffrey Simmons. They found a way. So I'm going to say the positive here is the Titans. But gosh, I would not want to be a Chicago Bears fan this morning, especially if you're listening to Chicago Sports Radio. It's going to be a brutal week for Foles. Yeah, what makes the good teams go from good to great is that they have more than one superstar playmaker. And we know that Derrick Henry is the dude on this team. He's the guy that carries this squad. But when he doesn't have a big game like we saw in this one, who else can you lean on? I just learned that A.J. Brown is that guy. He's a dominant wide receiver. Corey Davis, he targeted a few times, didn't get any balls, didn't get any catches, excuse me. But A.J. Brown is a beast. Four catches, over 100 yards, he gets in the end zone. So when you can't do it on the ground, he has a guy you can lean on in the air. Um, If you're a Bears fan, you're going to need to bite a stick right now so you don't swallow your tongue. (laughs) This is the Bears' possessions to start the game. Don't tell me. Here we go. (laughs) Give it to me. Turnover on downs. Punt. 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 Halftime. Punt. Halftime was nice. Fumble. Halftime was really nice. You know what halftime? <laughs> speaking of halftime, Chicago Bears. Walter Payton, Gabe Sayers. You know who the leading rusher was for the Bears at halftime? Who? Barcavius Mingo, who plays linebacker, who was on a special team. Great name, great had play. a fake punt. <laughs> Daniel Radcliffe, who plays Harry Potter, once named his fantasy team after Barcavius Mingo. I love Mingo. He is not exactly in the Matt Forte or Walter Payton, even though he's wearing Singletary's 50. Guys, this is the leading rush. This is the longest rush they had. It's absolutely apoplectic right now on offense. And all the move is for Matt Nagy, a born play caller who cut his teeth on play calling. Give it up. There's a million of these brilliant assistants they got there, whether it's Flip or Laser, we're going, all these guys. Give it up. Matt Nagy says, I will do anything to fix this. I think you got to try it because it ain't Trubisky. Trubisky's banged up. It is foals till the the, the cows come home. Oh, boy. Got to give it up. Are you thinking at any point maybe we give Tyler Bray a shot here? I'm not kidding. Just yesterday, the way that it was going so badly all game, I know it's not Trubisky, but Tyler Bray's been in the system. Did you even think, hey, maybe? No. I, I, I've covered Tyler Bray a lot because I've called Bears preseason games. He's usually not even dressed. No, I wasn't. I think it's Foles, and I think you can pull Foles from Nagy's cold, dead hands. I really do. <laughs> I hope Sorry. the Titans can build upon this. Like, they're maligned defense. They didn't have Jadavian Clowney. All of a sudden, they get Desmond King. They let go of Vic Beasley. They made some changes. Do you think they can build off of this, even though it was an anemic Chicago offense? Yeah, if Jeffrey Simmons comes back and, and Clowney steps up, but, like, they're paying Clowney, I think, twenty million. Simmons looks good. Landry, and Vic, Vic Baisley, eight million. Like yeah. these guys have not been there, so huge win for them, and a, maybe a, an emotional lift for the Titans. They need it. That AFC is loaded. Uh, speaking of loaded AFC, oh, the Raiders. Oh, let's go, man. CC Sabathia, if you're watching. What up, CC? What Early minivan. East Coast Raiders games, and it comes right down to the end, as it always does. Let's go third quarter. Derek Carr. Touchdown to Darren Waller. Great catch. This is after Nelson Aguilar had a great touchdown score earlier. But this is the game. Third and goal for everything. What's the call? Touchdown! 
Touchdown! Oh, wait, this is the Chargers, guys. It's not that easy. Don't do it. Wasn't even close. Isaiah Johnson actually knocks this thing out. It's a drop. It is an incomplete. Anthony Lynn's Chargers find a way to lose yet again, but I'm going to say the Raiders found a way to win. Yeah. Unbelievable game. We'll talk about it in just a bit. All right, let's go to the NFC North matchup. Lions, Vikings, let Dalvin Cook. I know you're home like Cook what, Nate? Cook defenses, all right? He's coming off a career game over 200 yards, four TDs last week. And watch this. He catches ball, whoop, makes a guy miss. He gets up. He's just making it look easy. He's dominating defense. These are guys getting paid millions of dollars, and he's embarrassing. You know when a guy's smiling like that, you know he's in the zone. All right, fourth quarter now. Let's give it to Dalvin. Now. Wow. Okay, they're just trying to make some plays for him. Off. No! Kyle. He breaks free. I know. A 70 Oh, my goodness. Hey, you know the Lions had 10 guys in the field for that play? Yep. Well, they needed, guys. They needed 10 more to stop Dalvin. They could have 30. Guys, I'll... I'll the, the, the Vikings, they dominated this one, 34-20. Uh, to 20. Dalvin Cook was amazing. How amazing. I want to show you what he's doing this season. Just check this out. Rush yards, 858. He's first. Rush yards per game, 122. He's first. Rush TDs, he has 12. He's first. Looks like he's going after every record for running backs. He's coming after Kyle Brandt's rushing title. Uh, we we do Henry. that. What do we call that segment? Off to the races. Off to the races. Derek Henry's been leading it. Dalvin Cook. Ooh, 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 two ooh, less ooh. games than all these guys. <laughs>